Hi everyone, happy 2023 and welcome back and welcome to my hometown, Sao Paulo, Brazil. I promised you that I was gonna open 2023 with a vlog from somewhere that was gonna spend my holidays and here we are. I had a bit of um, an issue with the weather so it took me a little longer than I was expecting but the weather hasn't changed and I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon so I decided to go ahead because what I have in mind is, a, is something very very exciting at least for me I think when people think about Brazil the, the first city that comes to mind is Rio but for me obviously uh, because I was born here Sao Paulo is my passion it's my passion it's a it's an unbelievable city and I think it's a little bit of the ug the ugly duckling so I'm gonna show you my view of the city this is not sponsored this is totally from the heart so i want to share with you my my most beloved city in the entire world and why because sao paulo is a world and it's so cultural and it obviously has great fashion and anything you want 24 7. it's a super democratic city because there are things for free there uh, I went to a museum, a beautiful museum, and it was free entry. And I don't think you have these things in many places. I've lived in so many countries all over the world, you name it. New York, I lived in the Middle East, I'm living currently in Australia. I traveled a lot. And for me, Sao Paulo is, has a special spot in my heart for obvious reasons, obviously family, friends, but but also because what the city has to offer. So if you're ever thinking about coming to the city and you think oh, Sao Paulo is just a concrete jung jungle, there's nothing much to do there. Hopefully I'll have you thinking, rethinking that because it, of, of course there are other places in Brazil that are a must visit, beaches, tropical beaches and stuff, which Sao Paulo isn't. But on the other hand, if you like culture, if you like concerts, there's more, there are more plays than Broadway on, on offer and ex, expositions and art galleries and live music and of course fashion. I'm so excited. So obviously um, I'm going to give you some, a little bit of everything, but obviously we're going to focus on fashion because Sao Paulo is the epicenter of fashion. And in particular, obviously we have beautiful shopping centers, beautiful malls, there are world class, but I don't think that's the main goal here. I think I wanna highlight some of the local shops because like I said, there are extremely affordable shops that are amazing. Obviously we have the Brazilian designers that are known um, abroad as well, so I'm going to focus in one particular charming area, which is a, a, street, uh, a street mall. And hopefully the weather will be a little bit more forgiving for me because I will be on the streets. So I'm going to show you some, some of the brands that um, I still love and admire since I was very young. And you're going to go with me. So I hope you enjoy it. So this is where I want to start my journey with you. This is my most beloved brand and very close to my heart that brings memory, childhood memories, Agua de Coco, which translates as coconut water. Agua de Coco is known for their quality pieces. I remember as a child that I used to wear their, their swimwear and it would last forever. And they continue with the same quality, but they are now more into even more into technology with pieces that brings comfort and as you can see every pieces every piece that they have metallics they don't burn the skin so they have beautiful details and I remember that wearing these pieces and the pieces would burn the skin that doesn't happen with Agua de Coco 
and as well as cottons and linens, organics, that's very breathable and very comfortable to wear in the humid Brazilian summer. So I'm going to take you through this beautiful flagship store here in Sao Paulo. Come on. The Agua de Coco style is classic with the Brazilian soul. The pieces are floaty, light, the prints evoke the Brazilian beaches so beautifully, and for me are timeless. The accessories, especially the bags, are very versatile and utilitarian, yet add so much charm. Some of the attention they put into the taste, this is all handmade as well. Made by the local artists and the local people. It's all sequin. Some stone works. And finally, and finally, these are the tailored pieces that they just incorporated in their repertoire. Bem-vindas a Adriana de Graz. Welcome to Adriana de Graz. Here I am in the beautiful flagship store in Sao Paulo and I'm gonna show you the store in a minute. It's breathtaking. But a little bit of Adriana de Graz. She's known for their thrown off aesthetics and exclusive designs, as you can see here with this cute pattern here that she plays with lipsticks in this particular collection, mixing swimwear fabrics with cottons and more fluid fabrics like this voal here in very feminine yet avant-garde and modern styles and you see that she plays with feathers and she plays with other materials that are easily worn and during the day and that navigates through the other aspects a dinner, a fancy dinner, or a poolside, they really interact beautifully with the, the whole situation. It's a lifestyle uh, brand that is very, very unique. All right, time for a coffee break. Let's go. Having a coffee Brazilian style. And So we are here in front of Shoots, one of the most internationally renowned Brazilian shoe brands. But what you don't know, and I didn't know as well, is that they now have a clothing line. So I'm very excited to show you that. I went briefly to the Shoes pop-up store, something that I was not expecting to find, their new clothing line that they are kind of experimenting with at the moment as I didn't want the video to be too long because there's so much to see. Unfortunately, I don't have time to visit all the stores. Um, what I found at the collection, I found that the shoot style is very casual and young, a complement to their shoes. But they also have the occasional blazer and linen dresses. I can definitely see myself wearing some of these pieces. This is Pat Paul, the ready-to-wear line of Patricia Bonaldi that started with an art couture uh, brand and she migrated into the ready-to-wear and gained international presence due to her highly sartorial, extremely feminine and sexy pieces. It's definitely one of the most beautiful brands in Brazil that you can find um, internationally as well. She's got um, she, she's carried at uh, Nato Prote, Mode Operandi, Match Fashion, amongst others. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. So, as you can see, the pieces are so intricate. And this is a swimwear that can be worn as a bodysuit. As you can see, it's just unbelievably beautiful. 
and I'm gonna show you in details. In a For me, she really captures the Brazilian style woman, a woman that wants to be free and feel sexy. Her collections are not just fashion, but they are a lifestyle that navigates from a poolside to a fancy dinner in no time at all. How can you not feel amazing when you wear pieces like this? If you're looking for glam, sexy, womanly pieces, this is definitely for you. The collection is vibrant and exquisitely cut. You may also love the beautiful bags and shoes, all made from raffia for the most part and other natural materials. This is the haute couture. So here we are at the haute couture section. She just uses noble fabrics, silks, voiles. That part she translates to the ready to wear as well. But always predominant the cutouts and the sexiness of the pieces. Gorgeous store. This is the Brazilian hospitality when it comes to shopping. We're kind of spoiled. Absolutely gorgeous ethereal pieces and some of the evening bags. So that's it. I've showed you some of my favorite stores here in Sao Paulo and I hope you enjoyed it. So it's time for a little break and a little lunch. Come with me.